Hello and welcome to the first real video in the WCOM Basics series on differential equations. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve the most basic differential equations, uh, ones that you can solve via separ separation of variables or separable differential equations. In your calculus uh, 1 and 2 class, you've dealt with functions that have looked like this. Uh, the differential uh, the derivative with respect to x on y is equal to some function of x. And um, in general, you just integrate both sides with respect to x. Um, and you would notice that the you notice that the derivative and the integral uh, cancel out, and you just get y equals the integral of a. Uh, so that's really basic. But sometimes, or sometimes in the natural world or in data collection, data analysis, you will get something that looks like this. And you'll get uh, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to some function a, but that function is itself in terms of x and y. Um, if you're lucky, um, you'll be able to separate this a into a product of two functions, which are um, uh, both themselves in terms of x and y. So, so you get the derivative. Ah, the derivative. Ah, sorry. So you'll get the derivative is equal to f of x times g of y. Uh, this is all abstract, but. It's fairly obvious if you run into a problem, if you get something like x cosine y or something like this, it's obvious that you have like x times cosine of y. Uh, so you don't have to be afraid of this uh, abstracted notation at all. Um, so how are we going to solve this? Basically, um, we're going to go through a few algebraic and calculus-based steps. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is move anything that contains a y, so f of y to one side. Uh, we can um, divide both sides by f of y. And now what you might be tempted to do is to move everything with an x to the other side. Um, and you see this dx here. It's, it looks nice and, in fact, that's what Newton and Leibniz thought, is that you could just move this x to the other side. Um, and it'd be all dandy, integrate one side with respect to y, integrate one side with respect to x. Um, but there's a more rigorous mathematical intuition that you should build when it comes to these problems. So we're going to integrate both sides with respect to x, because that makes more sense. Right, so um, if we look at this mess of an integral, we have um, this function, which is an arbitrary function of y. Um, and then you have uh, dy dx, which is the derivative of y with respect to x. That should remind you of the chain rule, because we're going to differentiate something, get that something, get the derivative of that, and then get the derivative of the inner function. And what returns itself when uh, differentiated is um, the antiderivative. So we're going to make a function the antiderivative of, say, our arbitrary function f of y. So we'll call that cock we'll call that function capital F. Um, and now we notice that if we take a derivative of this, we get exactly, because at first the, deriv the uh, derivative and antiderivative are going to cancel out. So we're going to get, I'm going to take the derivative of the inner function, which is a arbitrary function of y. So we get um, so we get this. Um, 
which is exactly this is exactly what we have here. So we're just going to plug this here in to our initial integral. And one thing I've done here is added a preemptive plus C because it's very important to not forget about the C, uh, the constant, because that will absolutely ruin the um, final answer that you get. Uh, so you also will notice that the derivative that we're taking on this fun big function capital F cancels out with the integral that we're also taking. Um, so what we have So what we have is the antiderivative of our function 1 over f of y is equal to g of x dx plus c. Um, I'm just going to write this in a more friendly notation in case you want something that's easier to memorize. Um, So this is kind of the thing that you're probably going to use most often, and it's perfectly okay to uh, memorize that, but if you're in a crunch and your memory is failing you at the moment, uh, it's very intuitive to get to this uh, through just kind of pure logic. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at our first separable differential equation. Um, so here we have dy dx equals x over y. Uh, after a while, it's not going to be necessary for you to explicitly write f of y, g of x. So But just so that you can, just so you can see, we have one over y times x. Uh, multiply both sides by y, which is the inverse of uh, division. So equals x. We're going to integrate both sides with respect to x. The chain rule is uh, an integration form is going to pop up. Uh, So we have, um, this is just going to become the integral of y with respect to y. Plus c. Uh, um, and another thing to note is we just have the c on, plus c on one side because um, as you know, once you do an indefinite integral, you have a plus c popping up. But if you just subtract this c, it gets absorbed, and it's just an, a not the same thing as an arbitrary constant on one side. Um, so yeah, the halves are going uh, to uh, multiply everything by 2. Um, the C is also going to absorb the times 2 uh, and take. And there you have it. We've solved our most basic differential equation. Uh, and if we have initial conditions like y prime at time 0 equals 0 and y at time 0 equals 4, um, then we can solve for c, and if c is 0, we get y equals x. If c is something else, we get a little messier function. But that's how you solve the most basic differential equation, or one of the most basic differential equations. That's, that's it for this video. Um, if you're having trouble solving a, differential, a separable differential equation, it's probably, it's probably because you are um, integrating wrong, so take a look at how you're integrating, what you should be integrating. Um, but yeah, 
You can go on to the next video where I will show you an application of separa separation of variables. Um, and you can find links right here to our website where you can find this lovely differential equations books, book with a bunch of um, exercises for you to do. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the playlist of the WCOM Basics DEQ. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.